Well, I came up in a great mood. I was thinking what we're going to do for rejoin music today because when I was getting myself together at my house, I just cranked on a good old, you know, soft rock playlist, and I was just singing along, having a ball to so much Dude, of it. You're, I texted you Thursday morning when I was flying to Madison because I was stoned listening to Violent Femmes. Yeah, and I was like, "Oh, we got to do that one." It just day. makes you happy. Yeah. Um, I was very, very excited. Uh, listening to the music, I'm like, oh, we're gonna have fun listening to our rejoins today, and then, <laughs> and then it came on this a song, song I know very, very well, which I don't know well, and most people probably don't. No, most people do. It depends on the age. I, I don't want to have. The I phone. don't think this is like. I don't want the phone lines to heat up, Dan. But this is a pretty common song. No, but you think if you know it, everyone knows it, and you that's have not a true. Deep I take knowledge. a I take a real pride in knowing things. I hope nobody else knows. But this particular song is so great, and it is. Uh, Benny Mardone is into the night. Now the forever. I, uh, thank you, everyone that just went. Who? Thank you. No. Well, you, that's my point exactly. That's fine, but you know it. When now it comes I on. love it. Well, now I don't love it. I gotta really watch you know how I'm, I'm telling you. I listen to this song so many times on the way up here. I should probably be on a list with the government. It might. You might be now. The well, opening line of the song. We may have even said this on the show before. And so the song is just called "Into the Night." Into the night. <laughs> that's the name of the song. The first line. Uh, and for those of you who don't know it, Christine, please. Can we get uh, a little taste? Um. This is the music video, which I'm two never, people, never been privy to. Two people making out on a carpet. First line of the song. Has it happened yet? No. Now, it's a guy. It's an adult. <laughs> Benny Mardone, as I believe himself, <gasps> who could be 40-some years old, taking a child <laughs> on, on a magic ground. carpet at the Wait, wait, fire. wait. She's just years old. <laughs> wait, I never saw the video. This is her father... Saying it to him, a guy who might be younger than Benny Mardonez himself. Well, Benny Mardonez is, <coughs> we should describe in the video, he's at least, he's a lived man in the video. I mean, he's 40. At the Bonfire SXM. <laughs> I don't even know if he's 40, but he's definitely but this isn't late like 30. a 21-year-old with some chemistry. <laughs> yeah, where, he, where he's like, she's a mature six. You can't say she's a mature 16-year-old like when you're 40. There was a girl that I went to high school with that was built like a woman by the time we were juniors. Her name was Bryn. Which is such a great hot girl name. That's why it's always hot girl. Oh, name. Bryn. Bryn, but she was Bryn. B R Y N N E. I think it was like B R Y N N. Uh, Bryn, but she was. She dating. still found a way to dot something with a heart. She's the hottest girl I've ever seen, and she was dating a college person, like a guy that was like nineteen, and she was fifteen. And you're like, ew. But now you're like, when this song, you're like, this isn't even the case. No. And by the way, that is ew. Benny's, 19 and 15. It really, that shouldn't happen either. Gosh, she was built like a brick shit house. I'm like, with but you. But I was 13. So I got like, you, but still. I'm looking up at like, that is a woman. Actually, I was But at your age now, you're almost like, ah, it's a little That's like, gross, yeah. They stay That's illegal. Here. It's, uh, yeah, that is illegal. But, and this is, by the way, this is illegal. Eh, unless you're in Massachusetts. <laughs> I start rattling off the states. 16 is cool in Massachusetts. <laughs> Here's where I'm blown away. I never saw this video before. And I thought maybe he would just be him singing because... Because the, the it, lyrics the songs, are so suggestive? It, suggestive. They're pretty on the nose. <laughs> yeah, they and just I was play like, the song in his trial. And he's like, but everyone's like, the song's so good. Then he, he doubles down on the video. He goes, I'm going to have the video. I'm going to play me yeah. wanting to fuck this child. Uh, I'm going to have her dad get angry uh, right out of the gates. When he's <laughs> pitching the video to his manager, he goes, how about this? How about we film it? I'm in it. And I just live out my fantasy. He goes... Benny, um, how long have we been together? About seven years. You know I think you're magic. <laughs> I think you are magic, and I don't ask a lot of questions. I can't have you film this music video. <laughs> it is dangerously incriminating. It started off with him, <laughs> him with, a, with a little girl In a take her onto a carpet. By the way, you're not even talking about the very beginning of the video, which is them making out on the carpet flying by the shot. Start the video. Over. Were they? Yeah, bud. Making out? Watch. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> this dude full on. This guy just said he was committing the crime. Now he rolls out the carpet. Yeah. Um, hey, I, I hate to tell you this. Stephanie's parents are actually getting a little pissed off. Uh, are you throwing actual tongue in there? Betty. It took a lot for us to even get her to agree to open mouth, no tongue. Benny, how you doing? Mitch Greenberg. <laughs> I am a lawyer here at Columbia Records. Uh, I got a family named the Hernandezes who are saying that you got pretty handsy with their 15-year-old daughter. 
Well, if you listen to the song, you know I say 16. <laughs> I have my 16-year-old <laughs> <I have laughs> ten- daughter in here somewhere. Yeah! <laughs> you fucking rule. God damn it, Witzke. He got the lamplay. Hip play. I got to see where this video... I've never... This video is a whole new level. So start it over again. Yeah. No, that's it, it. She did. Okay. Don't yell at me. <laughs> the lyrics are insane. You're insane. By the way, we're three and a half minutes of the song away from the part that it's making me cackle in my Uber and walking on the street like a lunatic. Ah, I love everyone acts it out. <laughs> it's like drunk history. Yeah, it really is. At the bonfire, SXM. We'll tweet it out. Oh. Oh, my God. I mean, Why does he look like a 45-year-old mom? He looks like the guy who was, uh, he looks like the mean astronaut from uh, Armageddon. Yeah. <laughs> Mike Sharp. Yeah. Commander Mike Sharp. Oh. But I want you oh, his shirt's sure, great. If I could try, I'd pick you up and take you into the night. And he's just singing. Way, he's, the, the, the song's a threat to kidnap her. Yeah. He he's goes, like, bitch, you're lucky I can't fly. He goes, you never see your family again. I can't travel out of state without alerting my PO, but if I could... <laughs> You and I would be living in a fucking motel in Omaha. He means fly like a fugitive. <laughs> if I could fly, I have to meet my P. Because I'm on the John Madden plane. Uh, I'm on the John Madden plane where I got a bus everywhere. So, dude, this guy's turn it up, and he's married. Look, he's got a left. He's got a finger on his left hand. <laughs> this guy's wife's at home. Like, what the fuck? And watching it and what? We'll wait till the end. How about you switch to 18? Time for you. Okay, that's two years. Oh my fucking god! Are you shitting me? Let's pause it. Throttle. Pause it. Who's that? What and go that? back. Who's that picture? That's Danielle Brajoli now. I mean, how is that that's girl crazy. fucking 15 years old, man? You know what? That's a that's a that's a fake picture. No, it's not. It's got to be a fake picture. There's just, you know, girls develop before they emotionally develop. Play, and, you know, older men I mean, should be respectful of I'd like, that. I'd like to play the fifth. crazy. I'd like to play the fifth. <laughs> By the way, she has a new uh, song that I'm also now... Uh, Two listens of to laugh at it is it is ridiculous. She's singing now, by the way, yeah. auto tune singing. Hell yeah! It's her and Tra- Ty Dollar Sign. It's mm-hmm. so bad, but I was like, again though, it's like when she's done singing, you're like, you're just kind of singing it along too. Yeah, because they have like those Swedish geniuses like Max Martin. Oh, I know songs. exactly why I was going to bring it. And we're not getting away from this, by the way, but it actually falls right in line with this. Mm-hmm. The song is called "Trust Me." Is the video? Uh, it's about her. It's doing a hard candy. You ever see that movie? It's basically yeah. that thing where there's a pedophile trying to fuck her, and like they take him, and they're going to ultimately kill him and torture him. Uh, pedophile played by, uh, I don't know how well you know him, but a buddy of mine, Theo Vaughn. Love Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn, <laughs> plays, Love Theo Vaughn. plays the pedophile in the video, yeah. and I'm like, wow, he really, he wanted to be in that video, huh? <laughs> it does not make him look good. Yeah, well, I mean, you know, he's in the new Bad, ba- new bad Baby video. Yeah. yeah, who's going to argue that? I keep saying Barbie like a fucking dad. No, you just think bad that Barbie? because you you bad don't want to you don't want to assign that she's young. You want to call her Bar- bad Barbie. You could fuck bad Barbie, bad baby. You should probably stay away from yeah. <laughs> for four years, three years, four years, two years, two years. Big now boobs. You're fine. I mean, crazy big boobs. How old is she now? She's just sixteen years old. He goes, dude, Benny. <laughs> this song is very problematic, and for us to move forward with this, I need to know. <laughs> These are just lyrics, dude. <laughs> can we? Goes, can we please? Goes, can oh, we get Daniel Brajoli no, no. in studio so we can sing this song? Dude. Dude. <laughs> they go, she goes, I'm gonna stab one of you. Hey, if I could fly, up. Doc, Dr. Phil sang it when she walked away. <laughs> if she's only sixteen, gotta miss her. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. Can you uh, play? Go back to the video. I don't know, man. Dude, he's, got so, he's creepy looking. Yes, he's disturbing looking. Do you think if he was handsome, it would be easier to take? Everyone at home singing. Turn it up, Lou. Everyone, everyone listening right now is singing. Guys, get in. I don't care if you're on a forklift or in a fucking limo. And show you our love like you, you can keep letting it play. I just, what was catching me 
Aside from how the song ends, which is the greatest thing ever. Murder suicide? Yeah. No, just how he wails. But I mean, it, it's not. It's just of all the song. You know, she was just seventeen. You know what? Most songs about this are very bubbly. This motherfucker really, really wants to fuck this kid. This, yeah, he's like, <laughs> here, turn it up here. Look, I sang him into space. There's a specifics where he goes, a spe- specific point where he just starts going just ape shit. This is, uh... They're back on the magic carpet. Yeah. Let me feel it, though. Punch me in the chest with it. Well, watch out, guys. You're going to hit the, imp- the la- Statue of Liberty. <laughs> a great green screen. Dude, this is like the scene in Wayne's World. Um, I got a gun. Let's go to a Broadway show. Mr. Mardones, I don't think this is after school help. Mr. Mardones, you're strong. He goes, listen, I got the bowling league in about an hour. I figure we can slap tongues. <laughs> it's right here. Turn it up. So that guy. Yeah, I sang that with Justin one time that in a car. Loves. We just kept rewinding it, and me and Justin Silver started singing it over and over that again. That guy loves young vagina. Look how serious he is about it. He's like, I, I mean, got- even Jacob, you're nodding like you agree. I, so when no, the song's like- over, you're almost like, let him fuck her, dude. I don't know. He cares a lot. Well, it's bring up so the... disturbing. He's an old man, and it's just he's singing to a child. Christine, go back to it. I'm very I wanna excited. Go to, I want to go to the next. interview. Uh, okay. Go to the live thing, but keep that on deck, Christine. <laughs> Me and you are going to hit that note. I can't hit that note. You're gonna, I can enjoy that note. <laughs> you're going to hit that. I can note. enjoy the note like this. Ooh. I want to make. I want to pierce your soul with with my uh, with the song in my heart. <laughs> if I if I could fly, I'd fuck a kid. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> I can hit the most incredible notes, but it has to be about a subject that's so taboo that no one can like it. What is it? He goes, if I could fly, I'd kill your parents and fuck. Yeah, it's perfect. Just <laughs> good take, dude. <laughs> I want to see the live note. version where he's playing with a band. <laughs> you feel like when they hired, when they're like, "All right, Benny." Great song. I love it. He goes, we got Benny, I got, a, I got a guy on drums. Listen, the rhythm section, they come from my friend James's band, but they're real good. I mean, I'm talking about studio it's, pros. I know you don't know these guys, but they're all good dudes. Lead guitar. Love them. Listen, you tell him where to go, he'll <laughs> lead you there. All right? So uh, uh, I didn't give him the song because I want you to walk him through it. <laughs> Did you find he the starts, He shows him. The live with the interview from 1980. Yeah. Merv Griffin. Merv Griffin, 1980. Yeah, yeah, he uh, he let it play softly in the Can background. Can you also wait? Hold on, I want to see the introduction of the band. Yeah, this. Uh, these next uh, guys love kids. You might recognize recognize <laughs> this guy from Megan's Law. It's uh, this guy. Uh, definitely gave me the willies. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get him out on stage now because he's getting pretty handsy with yeah. the young PAs in the back. He goes, my niece uh, is an intern on the show, and I don't feel comfortable backstage with our next guest. <laughs> me? I got a 15 year old daughter backstage. I got a 16 year old somewhere down there. Good, good job, Jim Lampley. <laughs> Play. I got a 16 year old daughter in here somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> After 19 minutes. And a horrible father. Of a fucking, of but a first, rock. coming up on HBO Boxing, what? we have some Friday night, just some slugger fights. You know, a couple of jobbers, ham and eggers going at it. <laughs> yes. Isn't that important, Jim? Go find your kid. And a new hour special from Bobcat Goldblatt. <laughs> he goes, it's the young comedians of comedy with Dave Chappelle, Dave Attell, Louis C.K. Hosted by Dennis Miller. Hosted by our our pal Dennis Miller. I got a 16-year-old daughter somewhere. (laughs) Anyway, I'm going to go try to stop what I can only imagine is a gang rape of my child. And also, don't forget, season premiere of Dream On is next week. (laughs) (laughs) Brian Ben Ben vehicle, Dream On. (laughs) 
<laughs> Guaranteed for some tits. And also, Cato, Re- Cato Kalin returns to Red Shoe Diaries. <laughs> it's the reason Jacob will never uh, will never hate my guts. He gets so many of my goofy references. <laughs> Brian Ben Ben? I didn't even know. I mean, the fact that you nailed the lead of Dream On. Not even sure if I've watched two, more than two episodes of Dream On. I, have I just, just know Brian Ben Ben. And the I guy just knew that there was boobs. She had big boobs. There was in, a lot of boobs. In every, sure. every episode. I just didn't have uh, HBO then. Free weekend, don't. Free weekend. I didn't have cable for most of oh, it. All right. Um, I see your. I had to walk uphill to school both ways. Oh wow! In the snow. In the snow? I had to masturbate with sandpaper. They made me. <laughs> um, yeah, let's get this introduction. Merv Griffin. Introducing right, a guy. Come on, we want you to tell us all about Benny Mardonis. Benny Mardonis is a rock and roller, and, and he's been going across. The- what the hell? Who the hell was Merv Griffin's Ed McMahon with a list? <laughs> super, super talented guy. This guy Little th- dicey when it comes to, uh, you know, legalities with the ladies. Turns out he's got a couple, uh, well, <laughs> let's just say restrictions on his travel. Uh, we got him pretty much basement dollar, garage sale prices. This guy's a rocker and roller. <laughs> let's get him out here before his ankle bracelet goes off. He's got a taste for young flesh. <laughs> this guy is Benny Margonis. It could be 4,000 years years old now as it get less weird now if he's a vampire who's four thousand years old that's this is sweet is now this is just goes back to sweet again right yeah it doesn't matter if you're a vampire he's forever young let's doesn't ho- matter. let's hope that dracula took his blood <laughs> benny mardonis you can only pray that he has to sleep in the sun and live in the night everyone benny mardonis the only way this song makes sense is if he's <laughs> developmentally handicapped <laughs> And then it's like a Forrest Gump situation, where it's like, you know... That's his court argument. He goes, well, sir, yes, but Benny himself, I don't know if you've spoken to him, he goes, uh, <laughs> developmentally, is only about seven years old. He goes, so really, he's dating up. <laughs> yeah. We should be lucky. He genuinely would not understand why people are saying it's a problem. He has the songs about it. He goes, why won't people just understand? <laughs> yeah. I want to fuck this girl oh. who's nine years older than me. It's like a fucking 80s trial where they have a doctor smoking a cigarette on the stand. He goes, don't you understand? He's a boy on the inside. But on the outside, he's a creepy older looking man. He looks like a... <laughs> He looks like a wet, lonely woman. <laughs> he, looks like a, he looks like a hoarder. I don't yeah. know how to describe. This he is, looks like a lady hoarder. This is my, this is my cat, Anastasia. Anastasia. And this is Lord Byron. He's a great coon cat. He goes, Lord Byron's been dead for seven months. To you, maybe. A time doesn't exist. <laughs> I haven't seen his soul escape She's yet. She's only 16 years old. We can't play, play the intro. All right, let's do it. Let's, let's do this Mike Myers character. The country with this fantastic bound, a band, and the energy that's exploding with the audiences has got people crazy. And uh, he rocks and rolls so hard he broke his heel stomping. And he, he and his partner there wrote a hit song into the night. And he's tearing it apart. His partner, a, a guy muscle. helped him write this. He goes, two guys, you know. It's, by the way, it's all it takes. Is even he wrote it? and He was like, she's sixteen. He goes, he goes. Am I admitting too much? And the other guy goes, he goes. That's fine, dude. It's, it's great. It's, it's great. Sixteen, it's bro. Like, it's like poetry. It's like poetry, dude. Yeah, you know, don't say nothing. You know fucked a seventeen-year-old like a couple he weeks ago. He goes, he goes right hand. Smell my right there. <laughs> he goes, yeah, seventeen and a half. Pretty sure. You know what it smells like? He goes, he goes, I don't smell nothing. It's like exactly. Yeah. That's what? how young they are. They don't smell like nothing. Welcome to Hollywood. <laughs> yeah. <That's all. laughs> Welcome oh, to Hollywood. Yeah. Let's get this thing all wax up. <laughs> yes, let's bust this bad boy out. Sing it from your gut, all right? And I'll be honest, at the end, Because dude, I need you to pull it from the ground. Let's if we're going to release this as a single, at the end of this song, Benny... You're going to have to convince the nation that, that you should be allowed to fuck this 16 You know what's weird is, go, if, can you please play the introduction one more time? Because it sounds like a guy that knows he's dealing with a convicted sex offender, but he's just going around and he goes, well, he is prompt. He's always on time. The good news is, <laughs> he's trying to explain to an employee. The good news is, is, people say it's a risky booking, but I say, as long as we know he's here, he's not out there with your children. He Everybody, Benny Mardonis. He can't do damage if your eyes are on him. That's what I'm That's saying. Like, he goes, Here, we could track him through his performances and we figure it's safer than having him loose in his streets. Listen, I'd rather have him have his hands on that guitar than other places. Let's, <laughs> let's, let's bring this animal out here. No, Benny, you can't live. It's too close to the school. <laughs> Why can't we live close to the school? Because you're too popular, baby. They have to, The kids will go crazy if you're there. You're no, that's what I want. I want. I mean, that school goes up to like 12th grade, right? Oh, yeah, no, I can tell you. I can't. Oh, no, yeah. He goes, no, I like to go and, you know, drink coffee and watch uh, field hockey. 
<laughs> what a creepy thing. <laughs> what a specifically creepy thing. I drink <laughs> coffee and watch field hockey. One more time, I just want to see the introduction Please. of this Mike Myers character that's avoiding the subject. By the way, uh, before you play, Merv Griffin's face couldn't be like, what is this fucking snaggle puss saying? <laughs> <laughs> what the Christ is coming? By the way, Merv- that's not a good pause. No, Merv- That's the face Merv Griffin holds the whole time. Merv Griffin has like uh, four beers in and doesn't know a guy, <laughs> and he's telling a story. He goes... Who's the asshole? Did he is. Dan. You, That's what you, you say somebody else's name. You look over, you go, Lou? What? Is yeah. this, do you work with this guy? You endorse this guy? What's going on? <laughs> this next guy's the real rocker of all <laughs> He's the real. He's Thump Thump. the Hardy Brook of Heel. He goes, Who's this hammer guy? Is he going to ask for change? Yeah, Merv Griffin's <laughs> blown away by I guess, No, it's so good. Listen to this song. I really think it's going to tickle your heart. Because, oh, man. If you're a fan of love, you're going to be a fan of this. <laughs> Grab the one you love. Link arms and do a sweep through the field. We have to find the body while he's performing. <laughs> Quick. He can't Before he be, gets back to it, that's a ritual sacrifice. He can't be making his skin suit if he's singing the song. <laughs> he, can't, he can't be making costumes out of your children's skin. <laughs> Check for pits. I'm the bad guy because I show you where he is. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Call the lighthouse a guy, not the storm. The lighthouse is the dick, not the storm <laughs> pounding the, the shore and pounding your son. He's been going across the country with this fantastic bound, a bound? band, and the energy that's exploding with the audience. Not addressing people it. people crazy. Yeah. And uh, he rocks and rolls so hard he broke his heel stomping. And he, he and his partner there wrote a hit song into the night, and he's tearing it apart, and he's got a great crossover hit, top ten, which is so hard to get. And now Crossover pedophile, not yeah. pedophile. He goes, he's in the A and R. Oh, there it is. He goes, this was the Nambla national anthem for a while, but <laughs> yeah. a lot of people. Him and Gary Glitter are two of the best songwriters <laughs> coming out right now. <laughs> Everybody knows. He goes, you can get endorsed by his uncle Jeffrey Jones. Yeah, this guy is a can't miss. <laughs> his son Jared was just born. <laughs> he's a little on the fat side, but Hope. he could probably figure that with turkey sandwiches. I don't know. Maybe he'll come up with some ingenious sandwich diet. <laughs> <laughs> anyway Give him time Because this family Thinkers Also a fan letter From a young Jeffrey Dahmer They're man with plans <laughs> These are yes, all he's people gonna, He's written with his Writing partner Jeffrey Dahmer Yeah He has a young A young genius Jeffrey Dahmer It said he Where it says C in the song at first And me as an A&R guy Said Switch it to C And people are going to be Pretty okay with this <laughs> And now his career has gone up to the moon. And so we're excited. Here. Yeah. here we go. Here's the album. Never Run, Never Hide. I wish you could see big, Never Run, Never Hide? <laughs> Everything's so suggestively evil. Never Run, Never Run, Never Hide. I'll find you. I'll kill your whole family if you don't I just will, come with me. You might as well just murder, come with me or I'll kill everybody. I will murder your parents, Sam. I will kill your parents, Sam. Yeah, that's what it is. I will kill your parents. That's what it is. That's what it is. So we never run. This new album, never run, never hide. From the I'm talking to you front. I'm talking to you front row red talking, sweater. Yeah, and then uh, like, his follow up track is no. Come on, I'll give you a ride home. <laughs> and then his, yeah, he's just saying, his seventh the B sides. Can you help me find my lost dog? Goes, yeah, he is. Can you help me find my lost dog? And he's like, uh, what about the bonus song Tickle Fight? Yeah. <laughs> you have to put in track. Want to play? Want to play Neptune King of yeah. the Sea? He goes, let's play Doctor. Doctor and patient. <laughs> he goes, uh, good touch, good touch, bad touch. Yeah, this guy is a thong writing machine from his album. She didn't come down this way. <laughs> <laughs> Let the song play. Um, and then there's an interview afterwards that we're going to get into. Yeah, how do you not start the interview? It's like, do you fuck children? <laughs> I mean, yeah, that's what we said. Murph Griffin's going to go over at, and he's going to look at you eye to eye. He's going to go, Benny. Uh, he goes, and I'll be honest, I'm. I'm real busy during the show, so on when it's dark on me, and you take over, I kind of just check out and do my my own thing, try to get ready for the next segment. However, um, because I'm sure I'm just being an old man, it's probably time for me to get out of this business. My ears are going on me. <laughs> you, uh, that first line, that wasn't. Come on, what did you say? Yes, she was 16. Because originally I wanted 13, but they said they wouldn't sell uh, yeah, overseas. He, goes, he, goes, he said nobody wants the actual story; they want it based on a true he, story. He goes, so here's the real facts. 11. Go, Benny, Benny, sweet, wait. Is Benny, sweetie, we're talking about this. <laughs> Benny, bubbala. Just sing the song. Yeah, you sing, sing the song. You're the canary. I'm the cage. <laughs> From this album is Into the Night. Benny Mardonis. Benny Mardonis. 
Hi, is she here? I mean, he's about to do stand-up. I mean, I'm serious when I say this. He looks like a bowling alley manager. He looks like Roger Rod. Remember the white guy? Yeah. <laughs> Roger Rod from, uh, was it Who's Got Jokes? Or yeah. Something? No, BT's comedy or something. Just want to catch that first line, then we'll jump ahead. Look at those bands playing there. I'm like, God, it's good melody, dude. This guy can write his stuff. I like the piano. The first time they're practicing the song, and then he comes in with this. Okay, time out. Uh, so, so sorry, Benny. I listen. I really appreciate the, the the chance to come in here and play on your song. What was that first line? As he said, everyone in the band was looking at each other. He goes, "She's just." He goes, he "Goes, he goes, you, Jeff, you catch that?" He goes, "This play." But he goes, still he's, playing. Yeah, he goes, he goes, he goes, I did hear. That. He goes, he goes, actually, oh, I wish. Yeah. This is where I wish we had cameras in the studio. He just goes, he goes, did you hear that? And he just goes. He's playing, he's, playing, no, he's, playing the drums. he's playing the drums and he, he tries to shut him off. He goes, That's like, he goes, he's 16 years old. He goes, She's just 16 years old. This, <laughs> they start drumming. He's like, This motherfucker just said 16 years old. I, was like, I think he said 16. I think, I think he said 16. He's probably, probably getting it wrong. <laughs> he goes, Impossible. The keyboard, the keyboard, play, keyboard player is like, mm, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, Benny. He goes, man, I'll tell you what, we write it, but it comes from his soul. <laughs> God, I'll tell you this. I haven't, but I want to try. <laughs> Let it play. He's so <laughs> The band couldn't be better. The band's great. I mean, pig pants. Pig- <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, keep it going for Benny Mardona. Yeah. yeah. Get that bass up, Lou. Let him know at home. The guy gets... By the way, guy brings it live. Yeah. Sounds good. He could fuck uh, of-age women, for sure. Definitely some of the moms of the girls he's going after. Still singing the song to, at 71. He's 71 now? Yeah, he's still singing it. There's a clip of him oh, singing at a casino. At 71? <laughs> That's when we come back. When we come back from break, I will go to the, If you could have a video of him singing at 71, uh, please. By the way, he was 71, so that means he he's was in 30, fact... He's almost 35 here. <laughs> there it is. Uh-huh. Get to the end of the song, Christine. Go a little bit ahead. Hey, oh, you want to see the interview? Oh, yeah, but I first... You want, oh, I him wailing see, I mean, right here. Yeah. yeah. Turn it up, Lou. He gets it right here. Singing backup's got to be tough on this. I could fly. I'd fuck a child. Oh, if they were a deep sleeper. Oh, if you kill your parents, we could be together. Oh, it would be like living with <laughs> sin except with sex. <laughs> we could change our names. I know a parent. He's wearing a Pedro Elvis t-shirt. He's wearing, <laughs> yeah, I learned it from the king. He goes, yeah, I fucking love kids, man. I fucking love kids. Thank you. <laughs> Christy, go back to that. <laughs> That's fucking so fun. Yeah. If I could fly, I'd fuck a kid. <laughs> Turn his up. <laughs> Oh. Christine, female's opinion though is it that make him sort of cool these notes? He nails it. I mean, get him into the pants of a lot of sixteen-year-old impressionable girls. What's your concern? Sure. What's your concern, Christine, that he looks dis- disturbingly like you? <laughs> <laughs> Christine, what were you doing in 1980? <laughs> were you on the Merv Griffin show? <laughs> 
Whale. Oh, you'd have done you you'd done it worse than have Benny Mardones be your dad. <laughs> Dude, that'd be great if your name Where was Christina. Uh, <laughs> Christine Mardones. Mardones? I, I would take her. I'd marry her and take her last name. <laughs> I want to be J Mar Big J Mardones. Oh, dude, that sounds like a fucking coke dealer in New Mexico. Big <laughs> <laughs> Jay Mardones. Always wears a cowboy. Yeah, I go, dude, yeah, I can get you some yak in Santa Fe. It's from Big J Mardones. He gets called. Wait, first of all, go back because I'm going to see the way he runs over. But let's take our first break, come back with the interview, and then we're going to watch him sing this at 71 years old. I want to hear the difference in those note hits because it's going to be amazing. Oh, yeah. We'll, uh, we'll take our first break and we'll come back and we'll get back to... Ripping this pedophile apart, everybody. Yeah, we really let it go unchecked for too long. We really have. Uh, Merv Griffin and his lispy partner yeah. said it, told it right to our faces. We yep. didn't want to listen. We're we cracking go, down. Is this guy a pedophile? I know he rock and rolls so hard. What if this is what gets... <laughs> yeah, he rock and rolls too hard. What if this is what gets Corey Feldman on our side? <laughs> he's, where he's yeah. like, oh, oh yeah. you guys heard Mardonez. He goes, Mardonez is just... What if I told you that's the tip of the iceberg? <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you Mardones is an enigma wrapped inside a conundrum, wrapped inside a crossword puzzle? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give you a last name, and then you're going to hang up the phone. Mardones. Mardones. A little bird told me. <laughs> a little 15-year-old bird told me. Look at the lyrics. Mardones. <laughs> read between the lines. He goes, you, won't get, you have to read every line to understand. <laughs> yeah. There's no way you can't miss this. This is a fucking flare of a fucking clue. <laughs> what childhood? Separated by fools who don't know what love is yet. That's what the third line of that song. Separated by fools who don't know what love is yet. He goes, no, I mean, they probably know. That's probably why they don't want you to do it to their fucking 16-year-old. What if I told you Mardonez was in the wolf pack? <laughs> <laughs> and he carries around needles to stab people. Tiny stabbings. All right. Um, we'll take our first break. We'll be right back. Benny Mardonez. Benny Mardonez. Uh, uh, From the Mardonezes. On... <laughs> Uh, un- <laughs> unconvicted pedophile, apparently. Yeah. I mean, guy gave us a lot of signs. A lot of signs. <laughs> Most notably, Into the Night. Uh, the song Into the Night. And so, if we can go back to the end of that song. There's an interview. He goes as an interview. I- I'll take the last note or two if you want to get the last note going into it. I'll do it. a key bump. I'm not, I don't have a problem if you're taking back to a couple mind, last notes of the song. There, I don't mind doing a small hoot. Because after this interview, at some point, what Jacob has found is... Jacob wants us to stop this immediately because of what Jacob's found out. Yeah, which is Jacob goes, guys, I don't think we should do this. <laughs> this is getting bad. He goes, he's still performing it at 71 years old, which we're, we need to watch. And then he goes, oh, I don't know. No, I don't know. Can't. I can't. He, goes, he was diagnosed with Parkinson's in 2000. So I'm like, I mean, that's, you just gave another reason of exactly why we should watch this. I mean, we're not going to watch it. And, we're not going to necessarily make fun of it. We should watch it. We should We're going to watch it. Yeah, so why would you put any expectations right. on it? But first, uh, Christine, if you can go back a little bit here, I want to get a couple of those last notes, just, please. We're trying to get a little not, taste. Yeah, there he is. Oh, uh, <laughs> a beautiful woman. <laughs> it could be a pretty woman. I mean, he's got great bone structure. Go ahead, play it out, and then we're going to listen to this interview. <laughs> Change your Even Black Lou's impressed. Yes, that was written for a child. What if a little girl came out right now with a lollipop and he put his arm around and he goes, I couldn't do it without her. And he goes, don't it's worry. It's all about her. Two years from now, it'll be someone else. <laughs> yeah. Um, Thank you. Sit down. Um, hey, uh, Dorothy, can I talk to you for a second? Did I hear uh, echoes that you've grown a hair on your vagina? Because that's going to be a problem for me. Oh, wow, they just pour. Oh, I thought they were pouring booze. Uh, okay, here it we is go. booze, isn't it? I no. think it is. He goes, you want a shot? <laughs> <laughs> take the edge off, B- because, hey, BM, take the edge off. <laughs> BM, sit down, I need to talk to you about what you're singing about. Yo, Ben Mar. Listen, I've been in this game a long time, I've seen some weird shit. He goes, listen, I belong to a couple of circles, I'm just saying... You gotta keep it off the airwaves, man. Where there's smoke, there's <laughs> fire. <laughs> You're about to blow up everybody's spot. He goes, buddy, we're all eating. No one says leave her alone because we don't fucking tell anybody. Yeah, you gotta <laughs> shut up. Just edit the first part of that song. How much? Is, how important is that first line? <laughs> he goes, how married are you to that? I want to hear how he talks that? before I do impressions of what he yeah, answers yeah. with. I know. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's thrill. It's water. You don't have to pause it. Willing to hear in person. Yeah. Like, uh, How do you do that? How uh, do you get up there? 
A lot of rest. Okay. Yeah. Oh. That's a lot of energy. I mean, you have to psych yourself up to walk out cold like that and do that without a lot of build-up in it. Well, it just, uh... How do you psych yourself up? It's <clears throat> getting topped off in the no, back no, by no, your daughter. No, no. <laughs> just, uh... <laughs> I just work... <laughs> I've been working real hard. Hold on, back that years. up. Yeah, there's, a, joke a, there's a fucking inside laugh where everyone kind of knows that he's fucking kids. Is well, that I think he a, says, it, it, he goes, it, it, "How do you fire it up?" And he goes, it, "Well, no, no, no." First, he said yeah. it's a big risk. Like in the beginning, of this first thing his answer was, he goes, "Somebody, it's big risk, right?" Is that what he said? Go back, back, go back. Also, do you guys notice he's wearing a fucking pedo Elvis t-shirt? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jacob said that. Oh, sorry. You need to listen to Jacob more. He goes, "Well," and I love he's got like a southern accent. He's like, "Well, I don't know, <laughs> fuck kids." Gets me up. A lot of rest. Yeah. A lot of rest. That's a lot of energy. I mean, you have to psych yourself up to walk out cold like that and do that without a lot of build up in it. Well, it just, uh. How do you psych yourself up? <clears throat> no, no, no. No, no. I just, uh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I just work. <laughs> well, I don't get this. You think coke, probably? Yeah. Is that what the joke was there? Years, you know, and, um, I just feel, uh, you know, strong and confident. I just, uh, I'm scared just like everybody else when you're st standing backstage, but the minute I go into it... But you uh, listen to opera back there. Well, I, Pavarotti is my favorite vocalist on the planet. Is sure. he? Well, he's one of the world's greatest singers. I listen to... I, I, whenever I get ready to go... Also to dabbled concert. in the pedo. <laughs> now, the cool part about Italians <laughs> is they don't look down on it on certain islands. As a matter of fact, it's part of their culture. A younger woman sometimes is more fertile. <laughs> Anyways, I could sit here and wax poetic until tomorrow. I think the uh, Italians say, uh, grasso on the uh, uh, field, though. <laughs> yes, Mussolini was a monster, but what he left behind was a culture of young lovers <laughs> I really listen to uh, rock and roll the last hour so you know I, I listen to Frank Sinatra and uh, Luciano Pavarotti and just a lot of easy music to calm me down a little bit you know well, and Pavarotti ain't that easy I mean he goes oh, the, boy, the boy can sing a ballad there's no question yes, do you think he listens to that music because he was uh, like clockwork orange like yeah. somebody like someone's dad like put him in a room and yeah. put the eyes of him and kept playing Pavarotti oh, music. You told you go on the floor it didn't Danny. work though when they took him out of the room he was like what do you think of those things he goes that was hot he goes man y'all wouldn't <laughs> let me touch my pecker but I wanted to. Where'd you guys find these videos at, man? These are hot. He goes, can I get one of them eye contraptions? <laughs> I fall asleep watching I Love Lucy, and I like to. <laughs> it just calms me down so that when I go out and the band kicks off, it sounds fresh to me then, rather than listen to a lot of rock and roll before I go. I listen to Teddy Pendergrass, though, all the time. I mean, it's Harold Melvin, the Blue Notes. I mean, please. I, I mean, <laughs> can I ask a question? I love that. I've never seen that before. With a, a group, the American flag. Yes. Yeah, well... Why? Well, it's just sort of a, a statement we're making. Um, I, you know, I decided to have... It's my American country, too. I'll do what I want. The few years, there's been a lot of anti-American sentiment and a lot of people putting this country down. And uh, I just got to a point where I was damn sick and tired of it. And I feel that this is and always will be the greatest uh, country on the planet Earth. And I'm just, you know, tired of people putting it down. You know, I just... Yeah. He goes, I can fuck kids here. And that's yeah. pretty cool. He goes, pretty loose laws on... Uh, and borderline, they look the other way on everything. It is great. You make a couple bucks. I, I, well, I got another question, Benny. How have you never been in trouble? He goes, funny thing, too famous. He goes, legal system, if you can buy it. Benny fucking Mardonas, man. He goes, I, I pick who I want, and then I have them. <laughs> I'm Benny Mardonas. Hey, your daughter's adorable, sir. He goes, thank you, Mr. Mardonas. He goes, yeah, real nice. I'm just send her back with there with me. <laughs> I don't appreciate what you're saying. Are you anyway, he goes, oh, you, you call me Mr. Mardonez. You must not realize I'm Benny fucking Mardonez. Send her back. With a bottle of bubbly. <laughs> <laughs> Baby girl, I love you very much. And I hate to do this to you. I'm your daddy. Mr. Mardonez, but you have to go. Mr. Mardonez. Banny fucking Mardones uh, requested your the Patriot requested audience <laughs> would like to gain audience with you in his room. Yeah. <laughs> It's made, by the way, that was a good pause phase. Just like, like I don't give a shit. Yeah. <laughs> goes, are you worried about the, some of the heat the song's going to bring on you? He goes, I don't give a shit. I'll I welcome it. it. For every for every angry parent, there's a fucking pent up kid. Because attention's attention. <laughs>
Good. Uh, you got a lot to say, baby. Well, of course, once Wait, once again, this? our thanks to Cal Rudman, the man with a gold. Oh, oh. God damn it! I wanted to see him go. And one more time for Benny Mardonez. Opening. Okay. <laughs> well, we hope to go Liam Neeson character. Yeah, he goes, what I don't have. If you want to hear me, if you want to hear me sing a song about me fucking a child. Can you, can you look up Liam Neeson in, dead, in the Deadpool? Not Deadpool, the Deadpool. Um, look up Liam. He looks like Liam Neeson in that. My skills are very particular. I like children. <laughs> if I could fly. Liam Neeson is Benny Mardonis. <laughs> I'd pick you up. He goes, I wrote a song about a child, <laughs> but it's a young child. I'm going to play Benny Mardonis. <laughs> I have a special set of skills. I want to see skills about writing music about very children. taboo subjects, <laughs> but goes, they're so catchy. If you want admittance, you won't get it, but what you will get is a song Riddled with pedophilia. <laughs> look, look at Liam Neeson yeah. uh, on the left. I'm Benny Mardones, <laughs> and I am the best pedophile <laughs> songwriter of all time. <laughs> I played Oscar Schindler. Oh, 16 years I old. Played. 16 is too old where I come because from. Because I played Rob Roy, and now <laughs> I play Benny Mardones as easily the greatest vocal pedophile of all time. <laughs> <laughs> Play. Look at him. The way he sings. It's perfect. This is the last time that I'll ever sing into the night public. Jesus. That is sad. Why? What's sad about it? Guy's going to sing a song for you right oh, now. He's sick. Oh, he's a crying as he's. Can't shit on this. This is a dying old man. Is it me and that sixteen-year-old girl have been together yeah. now for eighty-three years? You know, a lot of people shake a stick at Woody Allen, <laughs> but he made it work. He made it work. Oh. <laughs> See, if he, he might still drill it. You can't argue the guy's voice. That's great. Come on, Benny. Do it for her. Turn it up. Do it for that dad that wouldn't hey, let you see her. Did you see what just happened? Someone threw him a sponge and he sponged down his own, his, his wrinkly face. Oh, I thought he I thought he was wringing out some kids' panties. <laughs> <laughs> goes, I thought he stopped by middle school after gym class. <laughs> He's really goes, he goes, oh, thank you, my fuel. <laughs> he goes, mm, get a taste. Oh, pissy kid panties. <laughs> <laughs> he, goes, those, he goes, those PVDs need to be wrung out. Ah, oh, get right there in the eyes. Yeah, smell it the whole time. <laughs> Turn it up. Okay. Uh, leave her alone. <laughs> Thank you, Rita. I've got it. <laughs> Thank you, fat Rita in the front row. I, I'll handle it. He goes, please. Leave her alone for reals. <laughs> <laughs> Him performing as an old man is not. I thought he was going to be like sexy and fun. I want to see if he's. I mean, he's just saying it. Yeah, he's not saying it. Go to the end. I got to hear the screams. I want to hear if Fat Rita gets involved. I would like if you were like the venue manager and you go, Hi, Mr. Mardones. I'm sorry to interrupt. Is that about fucking a child? <laughs> yes. You, you caught me, sh- Sheriff. Yeah, son of a bitch, you waited it out. You guess, waited it out. Hey, I uh, I just listened back to that song. He's like, has anyone ever asked you some questions about that? He goes, you'll never t- take me alive, yeah, he goes, copper. Uh, how you doing, uh, <laughs> Lieutenant Finnegan from the uh, police department? I've been working some cold cases from around 1978 through 1981. Mr. Mardonez, do you know about the disappearance of Abby Palmer? She lived in your neighborhood. And he goes, <laughs> it's 12 girls that are on his tour, yeah. his tour route. Yeah, they go, we've, we've put the map. Yeah. <laughs> you goddamn kid Here's Mardonez. Uh, you here's damn Mardonez. dirty pixie swallower. On the 1980 uh, 
Fear Me Children tour. Yeah. Yeah, uh, We laid the tour route over uh, our our crime scene. Now, again, uh, I'm new to the district. Uh, I'm new to the precinct. (laughs) I started working these cases, and then I noticed that you had a tour in 1981 called the Can't Get Enough Tour. (laughs) And I laid... You'll never catch me. Yeah. And the um, You're Looking in... The Looking in Wrong Places Tour. Uh, You you idiots think this is just music. Yeah. The um, Check the Silos Tour. Uh, well, we did check the silos, goes, and we found six different yeah. sets of bones. Yeah, he goes, he goes, even 1981, you're, please don't look in my basement tour. <laughs> hey, he goes, you can go anywhere except the basement of my was, house while I'm gone tour. It's odd, because I interviewed you, and, and, and I thought you were in the clear, and then I went to get a, a cup of coffee at the diner down the street from your house, and I noticed that they had a framed poster from your Don't Look in the Basement <laughs> tour. And, uh, well, I went back to that house you lived in, and I looked in the basement. And I said, this wall doesn't look like it's an original wall. I feel like somebody built this wall. Well, Mr. Modonis, what do you think we found behind that wall? You didn't find anything. <laughs> you found nothing. <laughs> he cracks his neck. You found nothing. He goes, what, what if I told you that I'm moving my hands to take you off the scent? I'm Liam Neeson Mardones. Betty Mardones. <laughs> These guys are so saying yeah. the whole thing. What if I told you that I had no problems? And I could walk away into the night <laughs> <laughs> like you've never seen. What if I ever told, seen? What if I told you I did lift her into the night? <laughs> and that's where she ended her life. <laughs> let's take a let's Go take back. our next break. Oh, wait, I want to oh, hear, hear, hear about the screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Large barge. <laughs> I think this is. Has he hit him yet? Not even near the microphone. Here he goes, he's building up for it. Oh no, back it up, back it up a little bit. More, more, more. I can't watch. This is difficult to watch. He's not saying that. <laughs> he's just staring at the audience. I just want to hear when the screams go, if anyone helps. She had it at the screen. And he tries right here at the end. I was the good scream is more in the middle. Um, <laughs> Derek in Canada says we need to dateline this guy. Oh, uh, dude, we need to fucking walk it all the way. We gotta lure him in? Yeah. You go, hey, Benny, what's crazy is I got a bunch of girls. It's their 16th birthday party, and we're just hanging out, and we're talking about how much fun kissing is. He goes, he said he's too old to text back and forth dirty things to me, but he sent me a note, but I don't think we could use his evidence. Yeah. A handwritten note from Benny Mordota is not worth much. He says he admits it all, and he's going to write it down. (laughs) Oh, boy. Yeah, he goes... I got 11 pieces of construction paper with a you know bunch what? of Z's on them, it looks like. Uh, they say you learn, you say that, they, they say. Like you, Charlie Brown shirt. Yeah, because they say, uh, they say you learn on the job, and well, I just learned a lesson. If a man says he's gonna write you a handwritten admittance, <laughs> make sure he's got penmanship. <laughs> make sure he doesn't have Parkinson's. Yeah. Um, we're gonna dig into this son of a bitch. Hi. Hey everybody, how are you? Hi. Are you into Are you into rockers that rock so hard they stomp off their heels? <laughs> they break their heels. What about rocking guys? And rolling? What about guys that give you clues that they've been fucking children their whole career? <laughs> well, someone called in. Um, yeah, I'm on the phone. We have uh, Chris in California. Uh, according to Black Lou, says he was uh, Benny Mardona's personal Benny Mardonez's Mardoni. Um, Betty Mardona. He was Benny's personal assistant they and his son was, was his best friend. So he can answer some of our questions. Chris, you there, buddy? Yeah, how's it going, guys? Crackle, crackle. Crackle, crackle, crackle Chris. Dude. So you were Benny Mardonez's assistant and friend for years? Well, his son is one of my best friends, and when his son uh, went into the Navy, uh, I kind of helped oh. Benny out. Uh, Benny's got Parkinson's. So, oh, yeah, uh, we we discovered Jacob I, discovered that looking up his his latest performance of it. We wanted to see if he was performing the song yeah. now. Has he no, ever he, came? I, I think he did his last concert. He performs in Woodstock, New York, every Christmas. Okay, uh, he, it's gotten pretty bad. He just had surgery, uh, but he's keeping me a prayers, campers. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. absolutely. I mean, I mean, the question is that we, when we can get to this is: did, has he ever been confronted for that line? <laughs> 
Uh, yeah, uh, it, it's brought up a lot. Okay, that was I good. I don't know. I just felt like we were just two crazy people that are like, "How has no one oh, brought no, this dude, up?" This is a thing. This is a thing, right? For sure. The, the lyrics are ridiculous, but what a great song. Um, <laughs> what does he say about it, Chris? It to be number one twice in the same decade. That's pretty crazy. The, the few the few songs that has it. Yeah. Um, the story behind it is he used to live in New York, uh, in the in the kind of uh, batter uh, worst side of town, and he. Uh, there was a girl and her single mom who lived upstairs and he used to like pay her to walk his dog and just kind of give him some extra cash to help them out. Um, and one time his buddy came over and kind of saw her and was like, Oh man, check that chick out. And he was like, Hey, hey dude, calm down. She's only 16 years old. That's where the, the that is so, the that's the story started. he told you, Chris. I mean, that is, did he, uh, <laughs> is that the story Chris, he's telling you, Chris? Did he leave me in with a wink? <laughs> and he goes, anyways, my friend, so uh, my friend, what's his name? He goes, yeah, Charlie. Uh, uh, Charlie. Chuck. Chuck goes, comes over. Jerry. <laughs> Jerry Dardolas. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, D- uh, Denny. Denny. Denny Farmoles. <laughs> what are we what, doing? You These are all name. semantics. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, if anybody has to say Rick. Uh, uh, the fact is the song's a hit. <laughs> Statute of limitations. Yeah. Why does he make himself play the pedophile in the video? I don't know. So the, hard. The video, I know. I, uh, <laughs> the only answer I could give to that is... Uh, um, Cocaine's a hell of a drug. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's Chris. great. Oh, Chris, that's, that's got to be so funny, though, that Chris is like a fan of our show and he's listening. And then he's like, and all of a sudden Jay's like, this guy, Benny Mardolas. He goes, oh, sweet Benny. Oh, Mr. Mardolas. <laughs> it's, 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 it's funny because for months now, I'm like, I know this song is going to come up. <laughs> you guys are around it. And I, and today, I actually, today, I actually wasn't listening live. I just saw on the Facebook group, somebody posted the video and I'm like, Shit, of course. So one day I'm not listening <laughs> yeah. live. You know, today <laughs> so of all I, days. I haven't, heard, <laughs> I haven't heard most of what you guys have talked about, but I, uh, I thought I had to call in and get my... Oh, oh, you're going to enjoy it when you hear it for sure. Well, but, uh, I'll tell you this: it's been an yeah. hour and twenty minutes of us riffing about him. But, being I, but, but, I mean, I mean, in the video, in the video though, when he's on a magic carpet, I'm sure you've seen it. And uh, yeah, yeah. And uh, I bet he has the carpet. Have you ever house. had to watch it with him? I feel like it'll be like your dad showing you a porno of him and like not your like your stepmom. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Still so uh, he's got a great sense of humor, but Benny's awesome. He's and he's quite the coxman. Uh, you know, he's oh, I bet. He's, listen, uh, listen. We watched the video. We watched a video of him doing it in the '80s and. Live, holy shit, man! What a voice! Shoulders, yeah. shoulders for days. Oh, I mean, but great. the video when they're on the magic carpet, he's making out with what I believe is definitely someone who seems very young, and he's like, "Now nah, I hope you don't mind. I, I am going to have to actually kiss you for the video's sake." And she goes, "I don't know if I'm comfortable with that." He goes, "Imagine how you feel if it was my friend, right?" <laughs> I mean, you're lucky it's me. You're lucky it's me. I'm just doing this. This is just a music video for me. I'm just tell, I'm telling a story, man. I'm, I'm, I'm a storyteller. I'm doing this to move units. But imagine if my buddy was here. He's the guy I wrote the song about. Oh my god, he'd probably be so boned up. Oh, this here, this isn't even a boner. No, this, is just how, this is how I hang. Yeah, this is just how I hang. Yeah. And I'll be honest with you, you're a little young to be staring at it, and it makes me uncomfortable. Can you please stop touching Next, me? Can we go back to making out on this carpet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna kiss you. I'm gonna throw a lot of head into this one. Come <laughs> I'm gonna throw a lot of head into it. Um, you're not his personal assistant anymore. No, no, I, I moved out, away from LA a couple of years ago, but I'm still close friends with his son, who is actually uh, Ronda Rousey's personal photographer. So, oh wow, uh, Dan, if you're ever out in Cali and uh, want to go to the WWE show, hell yeah, can you, be his, oh, can you be his personal chaperone, WWE? Yeah, and then I'll be yeah. like, <laughs> everyone's person is also personal. Yeah, Every, personal. he's personal. Don't. This guy's a personal. Um, oh, is, oh, is this is this his son? Oh wow! Michael, is yeah, his son Michael takes great pic. There he is. There's a picture of yeah, him and his dad, yeah, yeah. and he's in a ra- rowdy Ronda Rousey shirt. My oh, yeah, mom yeah, they, was 16 years old, <laughs> and my dad was in his mid 30s. I thought Ronda Rousey was his mom. <laughs> yeah, Ronda Rousey's like, I'll throw an arm bar on any pervert that comes near me. She's just 16 years old. I wish we lived in Mexico. <laughs> yeah. Well, that dude, thank you so much for calling in. Um, yeah, no, big fan. I'm glad I could help out, guys. Tell awesome. him we're big fans uh, when you see him, please, and give him our best. And, I mean, what an amazing song. And tell him, hey, look, Statue of Limitations is over, man. He's good to go. Yeah, he's fine. He's if fine. You, if he ever wants to lay out a full-blown confession, 
We're here to listen. We'll do a whole bonfire confessional. We're here to listen to him. And I'll get you an autographed album when you come to SAC next month. Hell yeah. Oh, fuck yeah. For the office? Fuck yeah. Yeah, make it to the office, because I brought this into our world. Yeah, Jay. (laughs) Don't be an only child about this. I'm being only child. I'm not being only child. I say it for everybody. But I mean, if everyone gets to take home. How many signed albums do you think this guy's going to whip out? A lot. (laughs) And he knows that he's in trouble. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah